So I'm going to be proving the fundamental theorem of engineering today. Right there. And basically all this is is, you know, sort of a joke proof that E equals pi equals three. And this exists because, you know, mathematicians like um, you know, sort of just like laugh at engineers when they, you know, approximate stuff like E and pi. They sometimes they approximate it to three. And E equals pi equals three. So to do this, I'm going to start with proving E equals three right here. And then there's this also. And then there's proving pi equals three. And yeah, that's it. QED. So you get E equals pi equals three pi and pi equals three. So you get E equals pi equals three. So, oh yeah, and also I just got these two pictures from the internet. You can probably just search up um, the Fundamental Theorem of Engineering um, Instagram post or something. I, I got it from Instagram. We can probably get it from, you know, the internet, from Google. So yeah, anyway, let's start. Also, there's going to be a face reveal. So, yeah. That should be good. Right here. Yeah. Anyway. So, here are my markers. And start. So, first, proving E equals 3. So, according to the picture, it just says E equals the sum of n equals 0 to infinity over one over, of 1 over n factorial. And then, okay, so it says theorem 0 0.1, right? And it says... This is the final point. So, proof. Here, I'm going to bring this up clearly. This term is one second, rather excited. Hence the exclamation mark. That's the joke, right? The exclamation mark. Just gonna um, let me read that. And to combat this, <clears throat> we simply give it a demotivational speech, like so. Like so, um, colon. So I'm going to erase this for now. You have some ASMR um, tape sounds as well. <laughs> and from that, we have. So we have sum n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over n factorial. It says, parentheses, hey, you, exclamation mark. And then, it's pretty darn funny. Um, same thing, except it's a, the joke is, it's instead of a question, instead of an exclamation mark, it's a, it's a question mark. It says, you want to know something? Wanna know something with a question mark, and then it says, "Oh, 
And then it says, whenever we add through, you're worthless and ugly. Don't take it personally. Um, and then it says, kind of running out of space here, but um, you have 1 over n factorial. You'll never be used by a real math. Never be used by a real mathematician. And then it's just the sum here. I'm actually going to erase this. Sorry, that was my sister. Anyway, and then and then last it says, <clears throat> hold on, that was sum n equals zero to infinity. How did that look? Um, of one over n. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, now we have, says this, now we use, now we, er, now we have to, now we have put the expression in <laughs> its place. Um, and it is no longer full of itself, and it is no longer full of itself, no longer self-centered. Um, we can now do calculations, calculations on it, I'm assuming. All right, so here's another set of um, sort of equations, I guess. Yeah. So we have uh, the sum n equals zero to infinity of one over n, <laughs> one over zero plus one over one plus one over two. And this equals, right, 1 over 0. This um, equals 1 over 0. Plus 1 over... Okay, that's pretty illegal. Right? That's, that's illegal. <laughs> um, in mathematics. And this equals 1 over 0. And then get this. It says 1 over 0 plus 1 over negative 1 twelfth, right? 1 plus 2 plus 3. That's a dot equals negative one twelfth, not really, but you know. And then, of course, using some algebra, at one over zero. You can put that one over zero minus uh, twelve. So, yeah. So now, one over zero minus twelve is the answer, and it says, let us examine. Let us examine one over zero. Over zero. Observe. <laughs> Observe. So he wants us to use our observation skills. One over zero equals one over zero times fifteen over fifteen. Alright. Totally not like breaking some rules in mathematics. Playing division by zero. So this equals fifteen over zero. Thus is thus we find what you can read that um, thus we find 1 over 0 equals 15 over 0 multiplying both sides by 0 we get multiplying both sides by 
zero. We get it's a comma right there. Um, Got to erase this. Remember that. Um, oh, okay. So, fifteen over zero times zero equals one over zero times zero. Um, fifteen equals one times zero over zero. Right? Multipl multiplication. Um. <coughs> And then we get 15 equals 0 over 0. 1 times 0 equals 0, right? Um, so now, yeah. So now it says, but also observe. Okay, but also observe 1 over 0. And draw a line. 1 over 0 equals 1 over 0 times 0 over 0. Um, oh yeah, 15, right? 15 over, yeah. Um, and then we get this equals 0 times 1 over 0 times 0, cross multiplication, right? Cross multiply. And then, yeah, 0 times 1 over 0 times 0. And then we get this equals 0 over 0. And then, Alright, I'm going to erase this now. Um, we get 0 over 0. Therefore, right? Uh, 1 over 0 equals 0 over 0. And this equals 15 using the previous stuff. So we find so we find sum of going back to the sums, sum of n equals zero to infinity of one over n factorial equals one over zero minus twelve, which equals fifteen minus twelve, which equals three. Okay. That's pretty spicy. Um, last we have by the fundamental theorem of engineering uh, E equals three. Therefore Sum n equals zero to infinity of one over n factorial equals e. All right. <laughs> so we therefore we have q e d on the first proof, right? Um, the proof that equals three, and now we have now we have the proof that pi equals three. So I kind of got this from the internet as well, proving pi equals 3, just from like WikiHow, they have a page on it, so proving, so I kind of made this up, so proving pi equals 3, so we have a equals b, this one's algebraic, so with a few variables, so we have a squared equals b squared, uh, a squared equals a b, 3a squared equals 3ab, And then, okay, that equals 3b squared. Um, pi times a squared, pi a squared equals pi ab. And then we have uh, pi a squared minus 3ab equals pi uh, ab minus 3b squared. So now, uh, we 
3b minus 3b squared. So now we have pi a squared minus pi a b equals um, 3a b minus 3b squared. I hope you get how we did that. So we added b or er, we subtracted pi a b from both sides and then we added <coughs> the 3a b to the other side. So it's pi squared minus pi a b, 3a b minus 3b squared. Um, and then we have, uh, I'm going to erase this. A, or, okay. And then we have pi a squared minus pi a b plus a b minus b squared should equal 4ab minus 4b squared. And then we have pi a times a minus b, right? a squared minus pi b. Um, plus b times a minus b equals 4b times a minus b. And then we have pi a. Okay, so now we cancel out all the terms. So a minus b, a minus b, a minus b. Yeah, so now we have pi a plus b equals 4 b. So now it's pretty easy, you just subtract b from both sides. Pi a equals 3 b. Um, that also means pi b equals 3 b. And then subtract or divide both sides by b. We get pi equals 3. So for that we have QED. So that was the proof for pi equals 3. And now if we have A equals B and B equals C, if we have A equals B equals C, right? This is the law of transitivity. If pi equals 3 and E equals 3, that means E equals pi e equals 3. So, so hence proved. <laughs> so that's proof for the entire thing. QED, you know. And yeah, so there you have it. The fundamental law of engineering. So I hope you liked the video and see you soon.